Hi there. So um, I have here with me uh, Andy Lowe from Pacific Storm and uh, Gordon Chong from uh, Chinese Community Centre. Um, we're just going to have a look at the uh, groups and talk about who we think are going to be the outstanding teams and see what, what we think about them. So first, uh, in Group A, we have uh, Chinese Community Centre A, uh, Atlantic Storm, God Squad and National. Um, Gordon. Um, yeah, I, I think it's an exciting group actually. Uh, we have actually played some of the teams before. Um, God Squad is a uh, one of five side team that we played um, on a five side on Wednesday, and we have beat them, so I probably think got no chance. Um, Atlantic uh, Storm, um, my colleague here, um, he's in our team. We have played them on eleven side as well. We almost beat them actually. It was a draw, so again, it would be a tight game, but we, I think we'll just no, scrape for that one. Uh, National, I can't really tell you too much about it, but. It's a, as I say, it's a strong group, um, but we've got a chance we're going to top that group. Okay. So, um, Andy, obviously you haven't played for any of these teams in Group B, but I understand you went on tour to Holland uh, in, was it February? Yes. When uh, you played Holland King. Yeah, um, I can tell you about these guys. Um, they play futsal, that's the sport that they play uh, in Holland, the form of football they play. So I'll be technically very good on the ball. Um, we saw that in Holland when we played against them in February. Um, it's an interesting mix of teams in this group. Uh, as Chinese Association, Association of Tower Hamlets, uh, having played against them in 11 and so I, I can tell you there's some very quick uh, uh, and skillful players in there. Perhaps de defensively a bit suspect. Uh, AC Dragons, uh, their standout player is uh, Tay Fulcher. Uh, incredibly skillful, one of the most skillful players I've played against. Uh, he used to play for the youth team in QPR, so uh, as a warning to the other teams, you should look out for him. Um, I'm not sure about the other teams, uh, Neil Solicitors, but I think it's an interesting group. And uh, how about Group C, the other team that Chinese Community Centre are in there? I, I, again, I think uh, Group C is fantastic. Um, a, lot, a lot of teams that actually we, we played before. Um, Boston Manor, we played them uh, in two tournaments now, uh, in, a, in a tournament for last year and the year before. Um, I, how do you feel about um, their star man, Rob? ATU and his uh, thundering tackle. Uh, I, I think this is uh, he's, he's not funny enough, so he's going to experience my thundering tackle and he's going down basically. Um, Drowning Sound, we actually paid him actually on the left side uh, this year, um, early this season. Um, again, they're, they're okay, they beat us on the first half. The game was too hard, so um, they beat us on the first half, but we beat them on the second half. So again, it will, it will be like CC, we'll come back and beat them basically. Uh, Dragons FT, I can't really comment too much about it because I haven't really paid them. So, but if it is because, any, um, with Dragons FT, um, the Chinese Community Centre, they've played them, they've played them twice this season already, and they beat us in the uh, Wembley. Um, I can't remember what the tournament was now, but they beat uh, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they, they're also the winners of the Thai Airline um, Cup. Well, I, I say, I think this will be a tough game, but I mean, with anything to go by for Tay standard, um, I think we can beat them. So hope we're looking forward to it, looking forward to this Saturday. So um, yeah, great team, great groups. Yeah. Okay, and Group D, an interesting group there, Andy. How do you see it? Yeah, it's an interesting group. It's got my team in it, Pacific Storm, which is the uh, perhaps the, I suppose, the A team compared to the uh, R other teams, the Atlantic Storm, the B team. Um, we've, I've chosen some very experienced players to play in Pacific Storm, whereas I've kept the uh, youth players in Atlantic Storm. Um, it's interesting to note that our rivals, the Hornets, are actually in this group and uh, they're actually our bogey team. We've never beaten them in 11 aside, but perhaps in 5 aside it could be a bit different. Um, there's also the uh, second Dutch team, very technical team. And I'm not too sure about Danny's Wild Five, but I'm sure they'd be a very strong team as well. So I'd say Group D is probably one of the hardest groups, I reckon. And what about yourself, uh, Gordon? Who do you think? Which one's going to be the hardest group? I, I, again, I've got to agree, Danny. Group D's got the hardest group. I mean, I know, um, looking at the um, star players, Danny will have t some international players in there, like Italian international. So, I'll, I, I'll, I, uh, again, I don't know what they are, but I mean, um, I'm sure it'd be good. Holland, we went to a Holland tour last year, I mean, um, to play the Dutch guys, and they're very technically very skilled players. So, again, if you can get the ball of them, they're like Barcelona of, like, you know, of the five side football. Uh, Hornets, um, if anything uh, Andy says is to go by, be an extremely tough team and it's a storm. So, again, Group D, I think, is the team to, group to, uh, to watch. So, not being biased, Andy, who do you think could win this test? 
Oh, not being biased, I'd say uh, Pacific Storm. No, 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 I'm just joking. I'm, I'm, it's very tough to call, really. There's so many good teams there. Um, I'd say the team most suited to Fiverr side, probably, is the two Chinese community centre teams, because they always play together in Fiverr side. So I think those two teams will get far. But I, I couldn't really call who would win it, really. Um, no, uh, Hornets are good. Uh, Boston Manor play together quite a lot, so they'd be... Perhaps not technically brilliant, but they were able to play very well as a team together. So there's a lot of teams in there, and the mix didn't go very far. How about you, Gordon? Who do you think will win this? Um, I don't know. I, I reckon it will be an outsider this, uh, this year. Someone, someone unknown that we haven't heard of. Um, no, of course, because uh, this year the uh, the holding champions, yes. salt, salty wet, they're not going to be here, and obviously Golden Nugget aren't here either. This probably, year. probably good news actually to uh, people like us, um, but. I, I, I reckon like you know, something unknown like Danny's World Five or um, maybe one of the Dutch teams maybe. Maybe one well I doubt that, but I mean maybe maybe one of the uh, Chinese listeners. I don't, we don't know who they're gonna bring in, so they could bring in a international player like Danny would so it's someone unknown, so it's it's one to watch out on Saturday, so come along. Yes. Well, as Gordon says, um, is one to look forward to on, on Saturday. So hopefully we'll see you all there on Saturday.